Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm very happy to be here and my name is Subraj. Today I will show you how can you connect your Alton camera with your favorite Google Home device. Alright, so for this one you need a few things. First of all, you need an, you need an Alton camera. You need a phone with two applications. One is little one application, the second one is Google Home application. And then you need to have a Google Home device. If you're ready to set, but one more thing you need, you need to have a Wi-Fi connection, the same Wi-Fi with your Google Home device and the phone. And if you are ready, now it's time to move on to the next step. I'll show you how can you connect them together. Let's get started. Okay, so now first thing first, you're going to connect your Alton camera with your little F application. At first, you're going to open the little application and then you will connect these two things all right so just bring them closer and they will be connected if after they are connected the next step is to connect your google home device to your google application okay but first thing you're going to click on the google home application open it and then you will have to create a home so just click get started and then you will click on new device and then we'll create a home and then okay i'll just write my name write my home name whatever i want i'll just write my home okay so wait a minute my home i'm done for here all right so and now there is an option where you can place your address if you don't want to do it right now you can just skip it for now and you can set it later on and then continue anyway and almost ready to go okay so now you can see there is my home so you click on my home and then press next and then now it's time to connect your google home to device to your google home application and now we're going to connect our google home device with our google home application on our phone so for this one first you're going to click on setting again and then click on add device after that you'll click on new device because we haven't connected them yet and then again click on next and then they, the, the, your phone will look for your google home device so we have to wait for a while till they find google device all right so i think they're going to find it okay and here you can see there is a skin, uh, you know, qr code on the screen of your google home device so now my phone already found the google home device i'll press next and now it's time to scan the code all right so i will go and scan the code after you finish scanning the code they will connect together okay we have to wait for a while and give them time to be connected together and you can see this we have to wait for a while okay and then you can see it's almost done after this we're going to click on i agree and then uh, all right so we're going to just no thanks for now if you want to improve them you can just give some suggestions okay and here we have to select the reason so select the country your reason so you're going to select your united states and then just for go for the continue okay and where's the device so which part of your house you want to set this device for so let's just select the first one at it and then just go but now you have to connect the same wi-fi with between your phone and your google home device they have to have the same like wi-fi okay so i'm gonna find the same uh, wi-fi for these both devices so okay it's 5g i see that here okay now they will be connecting together don't forget to connect the same wi-fi with them okay and you can see they are connecting right now we have to wait for a while patiently and give them time to be connected okay and we have to wait for a while here okay while we're waiting you see that here congratulations is already connected and now it's time to okay you can select your language i know you're going to select um english for sure okay if you want to select other language you can do that so i'm looking for let's say uh english for united states okay so i'm almost done and then next and let's see the next one okay i'll show you each and every part in detail that you don't have any problem to connect your devices together okay so here you can see almost done okay so we have to wait for a while uh we have to give them some time to finish it okay so now we set up voice match on device you can just go for not now we can do it later on okay and then we have to okay so get personal results on device at my home if you want it you can turn it on if you don't want you can just click no thanks okay no thanks again all right so again i'm gonna do this skip it not for now you can do it later on if you want 
Okay, and now stay in the know if you want it or for now I don't want that. Okay, but if you want you can just do it. Okay, now I will select here, almost done, here is a review what you've set up. Okay, that's good. I'm going to click this next. Okay, learn about the controls on your Nest app, whatever. If you want to learn, if you want to watch the videos or maybe some kind of uh, interaction from them, if you just want next, I will say just not now. Okay, and then is your attic display is ready so i'm gonna select continue okay so here you have to go for click finish setup okay hi i'm your google assistant here to help you throughout your day so you can get started let me show you around okay so our google home device is ready if you want to take a tour you will just say uh, get started or if you want to do it later on just go for when you're skip ready, tap, okay started. So now we are ready here. Our Google Home device is connected to our Google Home application. But now there is one more step to be done. The thing is you have to connect your little f application with your Google Home application. So for this one, again, you'll go click setting and then you will click add device. But this time you're going to connect something. So you're going to do work with Google, the second one. Okay, and then we have to find our little app application. So you can just click on here, the search, and then you're going to write L-I-T-T, -T, little app, smart app, and then just select that, okay? After this, they will be connected together, agree and link. Okay, so they're almost ready. Okay, you can see little app smart is linked already. So while they're linked, you can control and you can watch, you can see the videos from your camera. Okay, and now we have seen that we can have two cameras here, camera one, camera two. Okay, then you can just go for choose device, I'll choose camera one right now. I'll just go next. Okay, and now again next, and then my room's attic, that's good. You can choose your room, which room you wanna choose, and then camera two, you can go again next, and you can see which room you wanna choose for camera two. If you have more than one cameras, you can choose for each and every room you have. Let's say we are gonna go for the basement, okay. But you can also change the name. Okay, now we can see we have two cameras here. So for us, if you want to change the name for the camera, go click on camera one, and then you can, let's say, if you want to put um, maybe gym, okay, I'll put gym here, okay, save. But the next one, we have one more camera here, camera two. If you want to put for, let's say, canteen, okay, or maybe your dining room, I'll put canteen here, okay, I'm ready to go. I put canteen and now I also have gym. Now if I want to have a look on our Google Home device, so I just can give a command. Hey Google, show me Jim. Okay, streaming Jim. Okay, so now we can have a look on our Jim. Okay, next one, we have two cameras, okay. Hey Google, show me canteen. All right. Sure, streaming canteen. Okay, so now we have two cameras connected with our device so you can look at two cameras here you can see the videos but we also can google another comment here hey google go home okay so now you can see google went back home so i'm pretty excited that right now our awesome camera can be connected with your favorite google home but we have a little bit problem right now that we don't support two-way communication like two-way voice and video support we don't have that but except that you can actually monitor everything you care for at your home at your office or at your business okay so that was all for today please don't forget to subscribe our channel leave your comment and also let us know was this video helpful for you give us thumbs up and don't forget to share see you in next video till then take care bye bye